After exploring the La Fortuna region, we took the four and a half hour drive to Manuel Antonio. We made a quick pit stop at Jaco, the happening beach town along the picture perfect Pacific Ocean. Once we arrived in Manuel Antonio, we were instantly struck by its natural beauty. We take a tour through the wild jungle in the national park, taking the views at some of the most incredible beaches and try some of the region's most popular restaurants. And you won't want to miss where we stayed and caught some of the best sunsets on the Pacific. Join us as we explore everything Manuel Antonio has to offer. Manuel Antonio National Park. It was $65 per person with our tour tra transportation included. And he just gave us a brief little intro to the park regarding like the animals that we're gonna see. We just got started, so let's go. Manuel Antonio National Park is where the lush rainforests meet pristine beaches. With a daily limit of just 1,200 visitors, make sure to purchase your tickets in advance or book a tour because visiting the park is the most popular attraction in Manuel Antonio. And they do sell out days in advance. Our $65 tour included transportation, entrance, and a four-hour excursion through the rainforest with our enthusiastic and fun tour guide, Hans. Hans was full of knowledge about the biodiversity and the animals he was able to find us made our jaws drop. He had an almost superhuman awareness of the surroundings and pointed things out with his telescope that we would have walked right by and never noticed if we were alone. Uh, when you're driving your car, you can see a lot of people on the road selling uh, wine, signs for everywhere. Vino de Coyol, Vino de Coyol, this is the wine. <laughs> After our walking tour, we have about 30 minutes to enjoy the beach. It looks so beautiful. It's like white sand surrounded by like these mountains slash jungle. 30 minutes is included in our tour. If we wish to stay here longer, we can. But then we have to find our own transportation back to our hotel. Otherwise, you have the 30 minutes. out of Manuel Antonio National Park and this little area kind of gave us a feel of Everglades. We're Elevated like, bridge over like marshland. There's probably crocodiles in there. I don't know but it does kind of remind us of the Everglades a little. Food and plastic bottles are not allowed inside the park, only recyclable bottles. We ended the tour with a well-earned and complimentary delicious cup of fruit right outside the park. Manuel Antonio at Bay Sands Beach. It is a little cove, super secluded, but surprisingly a lot of people here. If you come here and you want to park, there's a couple who is just capitalizing on the tourism. Shout out to them. They charge about two mil, which is about four US dollars to park your car and just kind of take care of your car there. And then you take like a less than 10 minute hike down to the beach area where you're gonna find just umbrellas, beaches, kayaking, and just a whole vibe down here. You can buy drinks, 
There's the lady braiding your hair if you want that, giving you a massage. We rented some chairs and an umbrella for about 20 US dollars all day. We got here really early and it was pretty secluded. Now by like 12 p.m. there is such a big crowd down here. Rightfully so because it is just so fun. The waves here are super calm. It's easy to swim and just hang out. 10 out of 10 recommend coming to this beach if you're in Manuel Antonio. We love this beach because it's like a jungle on the beach. We are surrounded by monkeys and sloths and crabs and all kinds of different things. When you're here, make sure you bring your camera because you're gonna be observing the trees and capturing all that footage of those monkeys. Just make sure you hold your food close because they might steal it from you. They have food and drinks here, but highly recommend bringing a cooler, making your own drinks here, you know. About a one minute hike up the trail, there are restrooms that are available if you need to use them. So this beach is really perfect. It, it accommodates families, it accommodates anyone. Highly recommend coming here. like a secluded beach that nobody knew about but everybody knows about it we are staying at la mariposa hotel and it's just a five minute drive sure you can walk down to it but that's gonna take you about 20 minutes down and then like 35 to 40 minutes out because it is uphill so recommend driving down from All your hotel up. our first night we had dinner at cafe milagro just a short walk from our hotel it's a trendy and vibrant restaurant with a full bar. They had a couple of talented musicians putting on a great show, so we ordered a couple of local craft beers and enjoyed the romantic mood. For dinner, we had the tuna poke and the Caribbean curry, and both were very flavorful. On another night, we hit up YOLO, a sports bar and grill with an electric energy. They had bar games, live music, and strong drinks that pair well with their party vibe. But our favorite spa was Emilio's Cafe. It had incredible views of the beach, which made it the perfect spa for a relaxing lunch. We had some tasty pita sandwiches and their iced coffee definitely hit the spot. The place also turns up the volume at night with live music and a full bar. We couldn't resist the taste of their dessert. <laughs> We stayed at La Mariposa Hotel, and as soon as we arrived, we knew we made the right choice. It had the most incredible views overlooking the turquoise waters of the Pacific Ocean. The landscaping was immaculate and the scenery was full of wildlife and felt like we were living in the jungle. that is like about a four minute walk from our hotel and on our way back we got this rain so we got back super soaked but it is a rainy season in Costa Rica so it just comes and goes as it pleases but it is a little um, unfortunate that it's raining but also very beautiful because we're in the jungle in the jungle the mighty jungle the lion it's also home to Le Papillon restaurant that combined amazing views with delicious food from an internationally known chef. This amazing breakfast came with our stay. And the best part is this is our view. Did you eat good today, babe? I ate so good, I'm throwing the towel. <laughs> Just not before we have more empanaditas. We have been having some free 
breakfast at other establishments, but nothing like this. <laughs> this is a breakfast right here. Mm -hmm. I can't even talk, I'm so out of energy. <laughs> The pools were a relaxing oasis and had amazing views of the ocean, which made for a perfect place to grab a cocktail and bathe in the pura vida. We are literally in the best pool ever that we could have ever imagined in Costa Rica. There's a bar right next to us. We have our complimentary drinks with the shot of rum added. And our view is just breathtaking. Yesterday, it was foggy and gloomy and rainy. Today the sun is shining down on us. Like thank you Costa Rica for blessing us with your awesome weather to end our epic summer trip. I mean look at this. In Manuel Antonio, no hotels are allowed beachfront. So the best thing you're gonna get is a view to the beach. This place has an impeccable view to the beach. Impeccable. Describe Costa Rica in one word. Biodiverse. What does Pura Vida mean? It means the way of life, man. When you think Manuel Antonio, what does it make you want to do? It makes you want to go to the beach and hike and look at all kinds of different animals. Okay, just one thing, just one no, thing. No, you didn't say one thing. You said, what does it make you want to do? Okay, take two. When you think Manuel Antonio, what does it make you want to do? Singular, please. Explore. Okay, you have to recommend La Fortuna or Manuel Antonio to a person. Which one do you go with? I'm gonna go with Manuel Antonio. Ooh, why? I feel like it's a good combination of both worlds. The resort relax world, white lotus world, if you will, and the exploration world, the jungle, the beaches, the waterfalls. What an unforgettable time we had in Costa Rica. From the wild jungles to the pristine beaches, Manuel Antonio has given us tons of memories that'll last a lifetime. Nature is sacred, and we feel blessed to have been able to experience the pura vida of this amazing region. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe for future travel videos. Thanks for watching and catch on the road. Our hotel is called <laughs> no babe is recording that. When you're Manuel Antonio, what is Manuel it? Manuel Antonio. <laughs> Pura vida. Impeccable. Yep. For yep. those of you who don't know, means pecs. amazing. It means pecs. Yeah. Show your pecs. In, 